we thank him. Alexei Ignashov, the great K1 star, heavyweight fighter, the Red Scorpion, now enters the ring here in the Amsterdam Arena. Alexei the Scorpion Ignashov. Het is geen kleine jongen. This is his opponent, Badr Hari, from the Chakoriki gym of Tom Herring. A young man, a young heavyweight, who still has a lot to learn, but still has enough courage, enough belief in himself to step into the ring with a great champion like Alexei Ignashov. Let's see what he can do here. Badr the Snake Harry. Tijdboxpartij, als altijd afgesloten over uw vijf rondes van drie minuten. Maar de scheidsrechter in deze partij, Erik van Looyen. De man die deze partij gaat leiden. It will be interesting to see what uh, Hari can do against this Alexei Ignashov, a man who has so much more experience, who has shared the ring with all the greats in the world. The coach well, of Alexei Ignashov, Ignashov Andrei Gridin. Well, here he is, Badr Hari. Still young and also much lighter than the uh, strong K1 grand champion, Alexei Ignashov. A man that many see as the future great K1 winner, K1 final winner, of course. Undoubtedly, he will, he will be there. Again this year in Tokyo. When 70,000 people are at the Tokyo Dome screaming their throats hoarse. When this man enters the ring, Alexei Ignacio. Well, let's see what Badr Hadi can do. The man has great courage. And of course has nothing to lose. Badr Hadi in black, Alexei Ignacio in red. Now look at the size difference, at the weight difference. About an 18 kilogram weight difference in the uh, to the advantage of the great Russian. Now normally it's um, Badr Hari who's the tallest fighter in the ring. Good high kick there. And he shows Ignashov that he has no fear, that he is not intimidated. Of course, what you can do when you're so much heavier than the other one. Is it a wise decision for Hari to move into the ring? Well, I don't know. It might be, of course, if he's not being knocked out. On the other hand, he has nothing to lose. He has only to gain. He can make a name for himself in the ring here. And of course, all heavyweights in the end wish to go to Japan. Now, Hari is still young. But you know, give him four or five years, and this man, who now weighs about 88 kilograms, might be a true heavyweight. I mean, of course, that's what he has to do. He has to blow up, he has to get more muscle, use more power training, and become a uh, heavyweight in the, this division. Becoming about 98 kilograms at least, because these are big men. Look at the speed of Hari. Ah, very good. Well done. Now the great Russian, the white Russian champion from Belarus, as the um, former Soviet state is being called. 
taking his time. Well, just to show how much self-confidence this great champion has, next week, so a week after this fight, the Russian has to fight in Paris in a K1 qualification event. If he wins, he's qualified for the last great semi-final in Osaka. And of course, that shows that Alexei Ignashov is very, very certain of his qualities and has no fear of this young Hari. Of course, that leaves open a possibility for the young Dutchman. There are not many that uh, really believe he has a good chance, but look at the fierce way he's attacking right now. Badr Hari knowing he has nothing to lose. He's outweighed, outpunched, outkicked. But nevertheless, he shows that he has no fear and he shows that he has the good technique. Of course, Hari is the future. Good first round there. Angry for Just imagine about seven or five or six years ago, it was Alexei Ignashov on a Showtime event where he made his name when he uh, beat Rob Cowan in his farewell fight. Now maybe we see the same thing here. Badr Hari, the new star of the um, Chakuriki gym of Tom Herring. Rising up fast through the ranks. Oh, good punches there. Left, right, and then a right kick, high kick there. Hardy shows he's not afraid. And that's, of course, a very important thing to remember. Because people will see these images. They will be broadcast all over the world. We have Igor Jushko, the promoter of um, Ignashev. And Tom Haring, of course, everybody knows him. For round two. The maker of champions. Round two, Ignashov in red, Badr Hari in black. Oh, we know of course that uh, Ignashov has another fight coming up. There, a wonderful technique there, but look at the power of Ignashov. He throws Hardy down as if he doesn't weigh anything. He must have pulled this, uh, this young man from Amsterdam. The way he attacks the great Ignashov. And of course Ignashov now weighs about almost 100 kilograms, maybe even more. And I remember quite well when he when we saw this young man for the first time fighting against Rob Cameron, he was just about the same size, just as thin as Badr Hari is now. And that was five or six years ago. Look at the power. It's like kicking a rock if you kick against Alexei Ignashev. of punching a lot, of course not wishing to risk uh, anything, knowing that he has to fight next week in Paris, where there's a K1 qualification, and of course K1 is the uh, greatest thing for kickboxing which happened, and it's really started. Finally, the fighters receive their great person. They're a good back kick. They're almost hitting the face of Ignashov. And you can see, you can see that uh, Ignashov is irritated by this. He can't afford to take this young man lightly. Badr Hari is doing very good things. Knees there by Ignashov, the red scorpion. Knees that are really lethal because we know the power in the knees of uh, Alexei Ignacio. He's knocked out many, many fights with him. Broken many noses, knocked out teeth. 
But up until this moment, Badr Hari is doing just fine. And while everybody expected really to um, to see Ignacev win in one round, up until now, Hari is giving as good as he gets. End of the second round. Angry. And the round two. Seconds out, round three. Elvis weg, ring vrij voor die derde ronde van de partij. Round three. Round three of five in red, Alexei Ignashev from Belarus. In black, Badar Hari from the Chakuriki gym in Amsterdam. Ik roep erop, maar ik ben top. Let's not forget also that Badr Hari took this fight at I think a week's notice. As the original opponent of Alexei Ignashov uh, couldn't make it. But I think that Ignashov will not should not take too many risks with this young man because Hari has nothing to lose, is likely to get stronger because Ignashov of course will realize that he can't um, afford fighting too long having to fight next week again in the k1 qualification fight in paris which is quite important for him as you can see he's not really making much low kicks doesn't want to be injured just now and then going there for the inside legs So much routine, so much experience. You can see that when Ignashov is fighting there. Taking his time, picking his shots very carefully. Now a sweep. Oh, more or less a, uh, a fall by Badr Hari who slipped, tripped over some water, I think, on the floor. Hopefully nothing happened there. No. Well, for Hari, this must be quite an unnerving experience for the first time in his career, fighting somebody who is much bigger, taller and stronger. Because, let's be honest, I mean, even though Hari is giving as good as he gets, the more powerful punches and kicks come from Alexei Ignashev, which is not a shame at all. No, not at all. Losing to a man of Ignashov's stature, of Ignashov's possibilities, is not a shame. No, definitely not. Strong punch there by Ignashov and kicks. Inside low kick by Ignashov. Well, he has courage, Badr Hari, trying to sweep away the leg of uh, Ignashev. Once again, those powerful kicks with the shin by Ignashev. Strong kicks there and punches there by Hari. Good right hand. And a sweep. Well, this hasn't happened very often to Ignashev. And somebody was sweeping his legs out of under him. And you can see the irritation in the face and in the movements of the white Russian mounting. He doesn't like this. He doesn't want to be in that ring for such a long time. But Barahari is giving him all sorts of troubles. And that's good for the Dutchman. And that is not so good for the white Russian. 
Very good right hand there on the plexus. A punch on the body of Badrahari and that is very, very painful either on the liver or on the plexus. Um, he's out. Badrahari is out. One punch of the big Russian was enough to lay him out, but what a good fight has he done, has he given. Father Hardy gave a great account of himself, did his best, it was not enough, but who knows, just wait in five years. going to see a lot more of this young man. Mother Hardy might be a heavyweight of the future. Squeeze the center of the ring, but, if but for now the winner is the only one man, Alexei Ignashev, K1 champion, and also winner of Showtime here Ignashev. in Amsterdam Arena. Winner, winner Alexei Ignashev. Well, mag ik een groot applaus voor de man die uh, kort van de voren was van de partij hoorde. 18 jaar, maar toch zo'n schitterende partij. Wat een Harry!